we're at Providence Homes. I'm here with the Mark Shermer. I don't know, doesn't want to look at you. But oh, here we go. I forgot there I have sunglasses go. on. Hold on. This house is so bright. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, there. See, there you go. Oh, now right. it looks hey, normal. Uh, and Providence is special, and they are the only builder around here that I'm aware of that puts uh, uh, the spray foam, spray foam, easy for me to say, standard. And uh, you really, so if you, if you want spray foam, you want that energy efficiency, I really, really believe you should go with someone that's super experienced with that because it can be done wrong as well as done correctly. But why don't you take us in here and, sure. and show us what's, um, what this is all about. Yeah, to your point, Austin, you can add spray foam to an existing home, but to get the max value and the max benefit, you actually have to redesign the truss, the heel plate, to make sure the foam is, a, is properly sealed in the entire attic. So as we come in here. So it is, it is hot out today. It is probably 110 heat index. And I'm standing in this attic and I'm fairly comfortable. And I think we're coming in at uh, 70, about 76 degrees, 78 degrees in here. Um, so one of many unique um, items that Providence offers the market in Northeast Florida is what we're standing in, which is in a spray foam attic. It's like putting a Yeti cooler on your roof you've now you've created an air barrier where you're not getting the heat that's absorbing into your attic. And most importantly is when the heat gets in the attic, it basically is like a flamethrower on your ductwork. And, and it doesn't take a mechanical engineer to know that's not the best way to build a house, which is putting heat on your AC ductwork, which has an R value of almost nothing. So by putting the foam and it completely coats the, the roof decking, it coats all of the, the walls that, um, like say the garage where you have heat coming from the garage, it will not get into your house. So we use the foam in all those areas. Um, the huge benefit first is the, is the efficiency. There are secondary third benefits, meaning you have less potential for any wind driven water to get in the house. Bugs, there are bugs in Florida. And when you no. have an attic, <laughs> there are, that's completely sealed. That's just one less point for squirrels, squirrels bugs, pests, Gators. Humidity. Gators. Could be gators. Um, but even pollen, pollutants, mm. like poor air quality, if you know, that's gonna get pulled into your attic when you have a vented or a, a vented attic like that. So this system is designed to pull only fresh air in. It runs the air through the filtration and then disperse through the house versus air just rushing in from all different points. So it's incredibly tight built home with the spray foam and with the type of ceiling we're doing. Um, it's just going to, again, give you about a 40% savings on your consumption versus a code-built home. It's, it's a huge nice. savings. And then um, also you don't have all that fluffy stuff no. everywhere. And so, like, if you do have a spot where you could do storage, you're not, like, hunting around through all the, right. the cotton candy. Your service professionals will love you. There's nothing to get itchy. <laughs> and if you have to fix a wire or fix something, you've got access to everything there is no blown or uh, fiberglass in this attic because there's no point to it you've got a completely attic that's now a conditioned space so it's a huge benefit not only in your wallet but in the comfort and, and it's just doing the right thing by consuming less awesome well thanks mark thanks for showing us My all this pleasure, uh Austin. cool spray foam and again yeah you can put it in an existing home and i've seen people add it uh, after the fact on some other builds but to do it right and to get the air mix right in the attic and all that kind of stuff, uh, Providence 100% does it the best.